So, you're thinking of going to Kyoto. By now, you're probably thinking about getting away from the hustle of big cities and free your mind while you immerse yourself in the serenity of a thousand-year-old temple. But there's one problem. Yeah, that's not exactly peaceful. And with tourism continuing to grow every year, the only thing you'll be immersing yourself in are selfie sticks. And that begs the question, is it still possible to explore Kyoto without the crowd in 2019? We will find out in this video. We started our day early and headed straight to Arashiyama's most popular destination, the bamboo forest. This place gets super busy after 8pm, so head out early and you'll have the whole place to yourself. So it's currently 7.30am in the morning right now. It's super weird that there's hardly anyone here. If you look here, barely anyone around. After that, we went for a stroll in the area around the Getsuki Bridge where we were greeted with a nice river breeze and stunning scenery. Just walking around the Arashiyama Bridge now. 8 a.m. in the morning right now. And hardly anyone. We had a quick coffee break and headed straight to Tenryuji Temple around 9am just as they open. We are currently at Tenryuji Temple, it's about 9am uh, in the morning so they just opened. There's hardly anyone around and it's really peaceful at the moment and yeah, so if you guys are gonna come here, try to go in opening time. Pretty much have the whole place to myself. If you look around, pretty much no one. We then head straight to Arashiyama Monkey Park, which is only a few minutes away. So uh, we're about to uh, go up the Arashiyama Monkey Park, and we're just taking a quick break right now because it's 20 minutes uphill to go up. So, and we're pretty tired from all the exploring. So, this is why we took a quick break just then. We are now at the top of the monkey park and it's about 10.45 a.m. at the moment and there is a few people as you can see right here um, but it's not too bad it's so high up that you have to climb about 20 minutes so not a lot of people come so yeah It's about 1.30 p.m. at the moment and Arashiyama area is super busy right now. Everyone's trying to get to the bamboo forest. So we decided to go somewhere a little bit off the beaten path and we are now headed towards uh, Gyoji Temple which is we're supposed to have a moss garden in here which is pretty cool. Uh, we are now inside Gyoji Temple uh, it's about 300 yen to get in and it's very quiet, it's a very small place and it's really far off actually so there's not hardly anyone here. There's only one other group that's in here. There's these guys at the back right here. And if you look behind me, they actually have a bamboo forest in here as well. We then started to head towards Ginkakuji aka the Silver Pavilion but we got distracted along the way and explored the surrounding area. The place felt very local with traditional looking houses along the way and it was quiet along the many alleyways that you will see. Just having a quick break before we go to King Ginkakuji, just having some ice cream from this place. So we just arrived in Ginkakuji and as you can see, it's pretty busy. There's quite a bit of people here. Uh, time is 4 o'clock and yeah, it's quite busy. So 
So when you visit Ginkakuji, you actually have to climb some stairs. And once you get up the stairs, up to a hill, you'll get a really nice view of Kyoto. And the crowds do die down. There is not a lot of people around me. So it's pretty good. I really recommend it. At night, we headed down to the Gion district and explored Yasaka Shrine and Hanami Koji Street. There is a good amount of tourists in the area, however, not too much to the point of ruining the experience. Given how beautiful the place is at night, I think you can always expect a few people in here. We are now in Gion and it's almost 8 pm at night. Uh, there is people, it's quite busy. As you can see behind me, there's a few people taking photos, but not too bad. It's a shame there's a few cars that pass through here would look really nice without the cars. Yo, what up? It is day two of our Kyoto trip and we are now at Fushimi Inari. Time is about 7.30 a.m. in the morning. As you can see behind me, there's not a lot of people. The thing is though, this place is, even in the morning, there's quite a few people but they stay at the entrance, they take photos so what you want to do is you want to go straight up don't bother taking photos near the entrance because everyone's taking a photo in that spot just go out straight away after like a 2 minute, 2-3 two, minute walk no one, there's no one, there's literally no one behind me or behind me What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, look at <laughs> oh, come back! Around 8.30 a.m. we headed back to the entrance to check out the food stalls and we can see the swarm of crowds starting to build up. After Fushimi Inari, we headed straight to northern Kyoto to see the areas of Kifune and Kurama. Yo, what up? It's about 11 a.m. in the morning right now and we just arrived in Kifune, uh, which is a really cool area just north of uh, Kyoto. Uh, I don't know how busy it is when we get to the shrine, but hopefully not too bad. Um, it's quite far off, not a lot of people know about this place, so hopefully it's pretty quiet. So we are now at Kifune Shrine and it's pretty much a photo shoot up here as you can see. Uh, there's a few people, they're all taking photos, a few photographers around here. Uh it is 12.20 and we are here in Kurama, very close to Kifune. And as you can see, not too many people. It's not that popular of a tourist attraction, I don't know why, but it's very beautiful in here. We are here at the main shrine, this is like the main attraction of the area. So we're just walking around uh, Kurama now, and honestly man, this place is super underrated. There's hardly anyone here. The place looks very local. You have like very traditional houses and at the same time you have like the mountains as the backdrop. And the best spot, you don't see any tourists. There's no one here. Most people just go up the lookout. The sh they go up the shrine and they go up the lookout. But what I suggest is don't go straight away and actually explore the town because it really is beautiful. We 
headed back to Kyoto's main area and explored the Golden Pavilion and it was busy as expected. This place tends to be busy all day so just do it during peak hours, get in quick, get your selfie and go somewhere else. So to answer the title of this video, can you still visit Kyoto without the crowds in 2019? I would say yes, you can except for a few exceptions. Popular attractions that are open 24 hours can be visited very early in the morning with pretty much no crowds at all. During peak hours, you should avoid the popular spots and go explore the hidden gems which are plenty to be found in Kyoto. Kyoto is a wonderful place with plenty of amazing shrines and temples and it would be a shame if you only went into the popular ones without discovering what it has to truly offer. So if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe as I have more videos coming up on less popular places such as Kanazawa, Takayama and Gifu Prefecture. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.